Today we're going to take a look at how to do a solo cat's cradle that you play by yourself. And it looks like this. And you can keep playing it over and over and over. And you'll keep coming back to the same shapes that are similar to the ones that you play um, on the cat's cradle game that you play with a friend. Ah, and you try not to mess up. All right, here's the traditional cat's cradle that you play with two people. It looks something like this. And you've got, I call this the tractor shape. And that's the cat's cradle. And then I call that the X shape. And so we're going to have similar shapes to these when you do the solo version. Alright, so the first step is you take your string loop, you're going to start off a little different. Instead of putting it across your palm like on most of the videos, you're going to put it behind those three fingers. You're going to do that on both sides. So you should start just like this. Alright, then you're going to grab the one that's closer to your pinky, and you're going to wrap it around the palm and put it back through by the pinky. And then do that on the other side as well. Grab the one closer to your pinky and wrap it around, bring it back through. So it should be like this. All right, then take your middle finger and pick up the palm string on each side. All right, now we're going to call this the cat's cradle. Next, you're going to take your thumbs and you're going to go under the first string over the second string, and you'll pick up the third string. All right, now you're going to drop all the strings that are on your ring finger and your middle finger. Keep the pointer and your thumb. So drop all of those, just keep the pointer and the thumb. And that gives you that X shape. All right, so once you have this X shape, what you're going to do now is you're going to tip it up with your right hand to the top and you're going to release everything with your left hand. Then you're going to take your left hand, you're going to slide it in here along your palm and match up your pointer and your thumb to your other pointer and thumb. You're just going to slide it in there and pull that apart. And you should end up with this tractor shape. So that's the next shape. Now you're going to take your pinkies, because that's your free fingers now. You're going to go over these outside strings. Sorry, I'm wrong. You're going to go under the outside string, over the second string, and pick up the third. All right, and if you do it wrong, of course, it's not going to work. But that's part of the challenge of this game. Then you're going to drop the thumbs. All right, next we're going to go under the outside string. It's always under the outside string. And over the second string and pick up the third with your thumbs. So it's always under the outside string, over the second one, and pick up the third one. All right, now we're going to drop the pointer fingers. And you kind of have to reach over and slide it off. You should end up back with this X shape again. This, this is a different X shape. This is more like the cat's cradle shape. And you're going to take your pointer Put it back under these strings here. And then drop the thumbs. It looks like the same thing, but it's just a little different. You'll see. Okay, so then go under this outside string, over the second string, pick up the third. Now you're going to drop these pinkies. And you're back at the X. Every time you get to the X, you're going to do the same thing. Raise up your right hand, release your left hand, and slide it in here. Pull it back to get the tractor. And every time you get to this tractor shape, you're going to take your pinkies and go under the outside string, over that second one, pick up this third one. And then drop the thumbs. When your thumbs are free here, you're going to go under this outside string, over the second string, 
pick up the third. Now you just did the pinky and the thumb. Now is where you drop the middle finger until you get that X and then pick up the middle finger again. Drop the thumb, pointer not middle. Then you're going to go under, over, pick up that one again. Drop the pinkies. So really that's it. You just keep doing that over and over. But it's really easy to forget the steps and then you mess it up. So it takes some practice so you can memorize the steps. Once you have the steps memorized, you should be able to speed it up a little bit. And it's always under that outside string, under it, over the second one. You should be able to just keep it going. All right, so good luck, everybody. And if you practice that, you'll be able to do the cat's cradle all by yourself. And maybe you'll have a buddy to play with, too. What do you think, Rocky? There's a good boy. <laughs> Such a good boy.